I thank my friend, the gentleman, uh, uh, Mr. Camp, for uh, giving me time to speak. Uh, I want to say, Mr. Speaker, that this boils down to one of two choices here today. We're going to be either voting for a two-month extension of the payroll tax or a one-year extension of the payroll tax. We'll either be voting for a two-month fix for reimbursement for physicians, health care providers in general, or we'll be voting for a one-year fix. Now, for my money, it should be one year versus two months. I don't understand really what the problem is. But having said that, let me also mention to you that this affects me and many of my friends back home in this way. And that is, uh, I'm a physician myself, have many friends in the health profession. They're asking me, John, why in the world do you keep us upset like this all of the time? Why is it that we can't predict what our reimbursement rates are going to be from one month to another? They're desperately begging for us not only to extend that for a year, but for two years and even beyond that. They're desperately asking for a fix. And we've been promising them that we would try. So that's a lot behind what we're here today about, and that is to have a long-term solution to physicians. I also come from the small business sector. And I can tell you that when you do your um, tax uh, deferrals or uh, the income tax uh, for your employees, that's usually done on a quarterly basis. In fact, it's always done on a quarterly basis. Well, how do you do it on a quarterly basis when you only have an extension for two months? So we have uh, the Associated Builders and Contractors and many, Mr. Speaker, that say that this is just absolutely flatly untenable. So um, I encourage that both chambers vote today to be in favor of sending this back to the Senate, have the conferees get together. Let's do it the way the Constitution asked us to do it.